Hello there, my beautiful Tauruses, and welcome to your February mid-month love tarot reading with me, Miss Machiste. Taurus, we are going to be looking into your love life for the second half of February. Please keep in mind that time is fluid, and if you're new here, welcome. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. I would love to have you as a part of this beautiful channel. And if you are a returning Taurus, welcome back. Thank you so very much for being here and for watching. I truly appreciate each and every one of you out there. Please do not forget to like this video. It really helps my channel grow. Please do not forget to check out your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs because not all messages will resonate with every Taurus out there. So please check out your other chart placements on my channel. So Taurus, let's get into it and let's get started. We're going to get three angel love tarot theme cards to see what energy is surrounding your love life for the second half of February. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't, Taurus, and bear with me as I try to read for single, separated, and in partnership. So take what messages are for you and leave the rest. Taurus, hang around towards the end of the reading. I'm going to be getting each zodiac sign's feelings towards you for the second half of February. But first, let's get into your tarot spread and see what's going on in your love life. Spirit for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Can I please have three Angel Love Tarot theme cards to see what energy is surrounding my beautiful Tauruses for the second half of February? All right, Taurus. So we have, oh, Confront. This is the moon. It could be dealing with a Pisces, a Cancer. We also have Trust. This is the Fool, Aries Energy. And we have Success and Growth. This is the Eight of Wands. Fire Sign Energy. All right, so this is a perfect combination of cards of somebody expressing what they have been hiding. So there does seem like there are some hidden emotions here with confront coming through. So with that energy, this is why I love this deck because this is the moon and it's all about confronting how you feel and confronting how you truly feel about somebody or how somebody feels about you. So Taurus, you are either in a position of trying to see if you want to let go of that fear take a risk and tell somebody how you feel, or this could be totally vice versa. Somebody may be hiding how they feel about you and they may be taking this risk and letting you know how they feel because this is a conversation card here. The eight of wands for me is my conversation card. Also my intimacy card. So conversations about hidden feelings is basically what this is coming through. Hidden feelings that have never been expressed yet because the fool coming through showing totally new energy. For some of you, Tauruses, you may have this energy of fearing the unknown, fearing what will happen if you do open up emotionally, and you may be taking the risk on a new person and opening up your heart in a way that you don't really do, or somebody could be doing this to you. So keep in mind these are the theme cards, so they could go either way, but there's an energy of hidden emotions finally being revealed, or if you're a single, single Taurus, you could finally be taking that risk into the unknown and seeing what comes out of it. And for some of you Tauruses, you may actually have multiple people interested in you because you have become brave. For others of you, it could just be this one person that has been lingering around your energy and now with your brave like nature of really just doing what you want to do without fear you are reaping these rewards so let's see what your energy is specifically Taurus so we're gonna do the you versus them spread with the mutual energy down the middle 
please keep in mind that this reading can resonate backwards, reversed. You could be on their side. They could be on your side. So please assign the roles as you wish. So Taurus, let's get your energy out. This is definitely some hidden feelings coming to light in a conversation. So let's see, Taurus. Spirit, can I please have Taurus's energy for the second half of February? Thank you, Spirit. All right, Taurus, so your energy specifically is coming through as the devil, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Page of Swords. Okay, so I feel like, Taurus, you do have the devil in your energy, so you may have a lot of fears and doubts around family. You may be very family-oriented, very family-involved, maybe very focused on growing a business or getting your money right. And you may have some sort of fears of letting love in because you don't want to get thrown off your game. You know, maybe you have some fears about what family may think, what friends may think. You may feel like there may be gossip around this connection. Whatever the case may be, there is an energy of somebody being very curious about you with this Page of Swords. You could be very curious about somebody else as well, but I do feel like there is somebody around you Who's very curious of what you feel? How do you feel, Taurus? Somebody wants to know, how do you feel about them? This could be vice versa. You could be wanting to know how somebody feels about you. But I do feel like, Taurus, you're in an energy of very focused on other things. Not necessarily work. I mean, I'm sorry, not necessarily love. More things like work, family, friends, those sort of things. You do have a curiosity about love, but it's not your number one priority. So whoever is trying to connect with you, they could feel that lack from you. They definitely feel a very curious watching you online, watching you on the internet, wanting to know what you're up to. Why are you having trouble opening up to them? That's why this person wants, this was, this is what this person wants to know. Taurus, why are you having trouble letting this person into your heart or in general, this could be a totally new person that, you know, gets you very curious and you're like, wait, like, do I want to finally let love in or am I still very codependent on my money and my family and friends of what they will think or what they're up to, or what they're doing, whatever the case may be. But there's definitely a conversation happening here because it's like somebody can't hold back anymore. It's very difficult for somebody to hold back how they feel. And I feel like it's both of you. I feel like this person wants you to open up, but you're holding back because of fear and doubts of things going your way. But I do feel like there's some fears and doubts over money and family or something like that. So let's get your person's energy. You could be in a marriage here, Taurus, and you have a lot of doubts about this marriage or about the way this course of this marriage is going. But you still have this curiosity of this person and this person still has this curiosity about you. So let's see what they're coming through as specifically who is Taurus connecting with. Okay, so this person's coming through as the King of Wands, the Two of Swords, and the ace of swords yeah a lot of communication i felt that right away with your theme cards so you could be dealing with a capricorn taurus virgo capricorn specifically aquarius gemini libra this person coming through as the king of wands they are extremely attracted towards your energy this person they want to nurture this relationship if you're meeting a new person this could absolutely be somebody who is very sure of themselves. They're very sure of what they have to offer and they're very sure of the way they are in a relationship. For others of you, Tauruses, if you are in some sort of connection, some sort of relationship, even of marriage, this person, they want you to speak up. They're like, Taurus, speak up. I need to know how you feel because not knowing how you feel is yet this person is confident, but... It's like they get a little bit um, knocked off here because they don't really know how you feel because there is a lack of opening up your heart and in turn causing this person to 
close up their heart as well because they don't feel reciprocated here. Keep in mind, this could be totally backwards here. Taurus, you could be on their side. They could be on your side. But I'm going to read it as is and the way the cards have come out. But this person has new communication towards you. Ace of Swords. They want to talk to you. They want clarity. They want truth. They want to know how you feel. This person wants to know how you feel very bad. And it's like they're not going to stop communicating with you until they get it. But with this King of Wands energy, this person's attraction towards you is extremely high. And I feel like you feel attracted towards them as well, Taurus. But I almost feel like you don't want to get sucked into the attraction if you're not ready for a relationship. Or if you're not ready for that opening up on an emotional level. This person is... I feel like trying to get you to open up as much as they can because they want clarity. They want truth. They want to know where they stand with you, Taurus. So let's get the mutual energy between the two of you. Definitely a conversation happening. But conversations can happen, but it's like, what do you do with that conversation? Do you tell them how you feel? Or do you just kind of just stay on this surface level of... Not necessarily wanting to go too deep, you know? So let's get the mutual energy. It's like somebody doesn't want to go too deep in fear of not getting out. Or somebody doesn't want to go too deep in fear of what their family may think. That could be, Taurus. So let's see. What is your mutual energy between you and this person? Spirit for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. What is the mutual energy between Taurus and this person? We have the Temperance card, Sagittarius energy. We have Death, Scorpio energy. And we have the World. Wow, all major arcanas here. Yeah, there is a new cycle being birthed in your love life, Taurus. You have gone through a lot of changes. You have gone through a lot of, I feel like, nasty energy. And there is somebody in your life... That wants to bring better energy towards you, but I feel like a lot of you Tauruses are so stuck on what happened to you that there's an extreme fear of opening up to this person on an emotional level. And I do feel like with the world coming through, there will be a new cycle between the two of you. Spirit is giving y'all a chance to really say what you feel, really get out how you feel about love or how you feel about this connection so you two can move forward. Because there is this lack of movement here, Taurus. For others of you single, single Tauruses, you've always had this lack of movement. And this lack of movement has just grown your fears stronger and stronger and stronger. And now there's this person coming around. They have passion for you. They know what they want out of love. And they do not have any sort of fears of going for what they want. And they want you. Taurus. So this person is confidently coming towards you because they know who they want and they want you and they want to know, are you willing to open up to me or are you not ready? So that's what the whole gist of this reading is about. And a lot of these readings have been about the collective. It's like the collective is going through this energy of a lack of opening up here. Like there's this fear of emotional depth that is really getting everybody like in a this closed off energy. So I'm going to clarify the world here and then we'll clarify your theme cards. So why is the world here and the mutual energy between Taurus and this person? Taurus, like I said, you could be dealing with a Scorpio. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Leo, a fellow Taurus. And we have the moon. There it goes. The moon is here twice now. Once again, more Pisces Cancer energy. This is the moment where it's like, this is the conversation to say what you feel. Maybe you haven't expressed your fears and you don't feel confident on doing that. This person feels confident in telling you whatever they want to tell you. This person has no trouble opening up. It's just their closed off energy comes from your lack or vice versa, Taurus. This person's closed off energy here, 
determines this person's lack of opening up. So it's kind of like a mirroring sort of energy, but the moon is here once again, showing that there's fears of opening up on an emotional level. You could have been having dreams with this person as well. They could have been dreaming of you. You could have been dreaming of them with the moon here twice, but this is the conversation. Yeah, Spirit is giving y'all a chance to have a whole new beginning in love. So let's clarify your um, general theme cards here. Why is the moon here? The Fool and the Eight of Wands for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. And we have on top of the moon, the Hierophant, Fear of Commitment. On top of the Fool is the Eight of Cups, walking away from that fear to take a risk, if you would want to. And on top of the Eight of Wands is the Ace of Pentacles. I'm telling you, this person sees a lot of growth in you. And for a lot of you Tauruses, you may not feel like you see this growth within yourself. Or some of you Tauruses, you're dealing with somebody who doesn't see, see their own value and their own worth, which in turn will make them not see yours because they don't see theirs, right? So there's absolutely a very big fear of commitment here, Hierophant on top of the moon. But somebody's got offers, Taurus. They see stability in you. They want a real relationship. They want real growth with you. They don't want to just sit in this level of, not moving forwards, but I do feel like there will be an energy of walking away from what no longer serves both of you so you two can embark on this fresh new beginning. A lot of you Tauruses are meeting somebody new and they're giving you a run for their money because you may have closed off love in your book forever and then this person comes around and you're like, whoa, I'm feeling tempted to open up. Go with your feelings. I know that's hard for some Tauruses, but go with what you feel. Don't push down what you feel because then you'll have this plethora of emotions that hit you at once. And you're like, whoa, where did this come from? So Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy, Eight of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. So a lot of water here and showing a lot of Emotional depths that could be reached if y'all decide to communicate this. This whole conversation will change the course of this relationship because there are offers on the table to take. So whether y'all take these offers or not is going to dictate the way this relationship will go. And I feel like most of these offers are coming towards you specifically, Taurus. So let's get your Mystic Moons out and see what your Oracle has to say. And then we will be getting each zodiac sign's feelings towards you for the month. I mean, I'm sorry, for the second half of February. So let me get my easels out here and then we'll get your mystic moons. Okay. So Spirit for Taurus on Moon Rising Venus signs. Can I please have three mystic moons oracles for Taurus? For Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For the second half of February, in their love lives. For my beautiful Tauruses. Okay, Taurus, we have New Direction. There you go. We also have Divine Timing. And we have stuck. Y'all, this is what the whole reading was about. Feeling stuck. But within divine timing, your love life is going to move in a new direction. Because this is what's happening for you. With that temperance card and the mutual energy, that's all about having patience and believing in divine timing. And that's what's coming out here. Because there is an energy of feeling stuck and not really knowing what direction to go down. But that you will be present, pr present, presented with a new direction if you choose to go down that you know this is why a lot of tarot readings you know everyone says you know take what resonates leave what doesn't yada 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 the reason why that is said is because each and every one of you have your own free will each and every one of you will dictate the way the course of your love life goes so your choices 
mean a lot, right? So each and every one of you are not going to have the same choice. You are, each and every one of you are not going to make the same choice. So let's clarify this. Just giving y'all a little bit of tarot insight there. So underneath new direction is abandoned. Moving away from abandonment issues or fears of opening up because you feel like you will be abandoned. Divine timing with surrender. There you go. Surrender to divine timing. And stuck with offer. There it is. There it is. So self-explanatory with the oracle as they usually are. Just kind of giving you more confirmation on the reading there. So let's get each zodiac sign's feelings towards you. So this offer is going to help this connection or help your love life become unstuck. You are going to move away from these feelings of abandonment. For some of you, somebody who has abandoned you could be offering this energy to you. Or you're finally meeting that new energy because you surrender to the divine. And you said, you know what, spirit? I trust you will bring what's for me. And then there you go. You become unstuck and you move in a new direction. So let's see, Taurus. All the way from Aries to Pisces. Can I please have each zodiac sign's feelings towards Taurus spirit? I need 12 cards of each zodiac sign's feelings. Towards my beautiful Tauruses for the second half of February, all the way from Aries to Pisces. What are each zodiac sign's feelings towards Taurus? All right, Taurus, we have Aries coming through as the King of Pentacles. So Aries sees permanence in you. They see you as somebody that they could commit to. They see you as somebody that they could be in a commitment with. They also could see you as somebody that they could be with for a very long time. For some of you Aries, they may feel like you're hard to read, Taurus. Some of you Aries, um, some of you Aries, some of you Tauruses and Aries may feel like it's very difficult to know what you're feeling. You know, a lot of earth signs are very hard to read. So Taurus's feelings towards you is a three of pentacles. So Taurus wants to work together with you as a team. They want to come to some sort of compromise. So you two can move forward in a stable direction and on a stronger foundation. So Gemini's feelings for you is the Page of Wands. So you have sparked something within Gemini that they may have felt like they have lost. So you have Gemini feeling very childlike energy towards you. They're feeling courageous. They're feeling confident. And they feel some sort of passion within them that is very youthful. And they feel like, you know, the Page of Wands for me is somebody getting this spark within them that they may have felt like they would have never gotten before ever again. You know, that feelings of butterflies in your stomach, all that stuff. So you got Gemini feeling some type of way here, Taurus. Cancer's feelings towards you is the Page of Cups. So Cancer wants to open up to you emotionally. Cancer seems a little bit cautious with you, though, with this Page of Cups. The Page of Cups is very cautioned energy, but they still want to open up to you here. But Cancer's kind of like... Making sure they open up on the right level for you to reciprocate them. So, Cancer is trying to be cautious with their emotional offers towards you. So, but they do want to come around. For some of you, a Cancer may be apologizing or something along those lines. We also have Leo coming through us. Oh, the Page of Pentacles, three pages in a row. So, it could be receiving an offer from a Leo, or you may be receiving an apology from a Leo as well. But they definitely see potential in you, and they want to see where this will go. So, a Leo, you could be, these are newer energies here. So, a lot of new energy coming through, or people wanting to start new with you, right? Head in that new direction with you, Taurus. And we have... Virgo feeling the Knight of Wands. So Virgo is very passionate towards you. Virgo is very interested in you. Virgo may be a little bit of an in and out energy, but they're definitely coming back in to nurture this connection on some sort of level. They may come through as player energy, but they're definitely extremely attracted towards you. I feel like Virgo feels very, it's very hard for them to stay away from you. So they can't, they can't help but always come back around. So next up is Libra. So Libra feels judgment. Libra wants a second chance with you here. 
Taurus, Libra wants a second chance, a new beginning, a rebirth with you. A lot of people want a second chances here or to start over with you, Taurus. Almost all of these zodiac signs. So next up is Scorpio feels the king of wands. Scorpio is feeling you. Scorpio wants to nurture this connection. They see growth in you. They are extremely attracted towards you. They think you look good. You smell good. And they may be very charming and they may have some sort of fiery energy within them. You know, the Scorpio Scorpios, they get that, you know, that rep of being very sexual. So you may be getting a lot of flirtatious messages here from your Scorpio, but they're very, very interested here. So let's get to do, do, do. Sagittarius is feeling towards you as the world. Sagittarius feels like things are over here. They feel like things are done. They feel like there may be no second chance between the two of you. We have Capricorn feeling five of cups. Capricorn's feeling disappointed in this relationship. They feel as though this relationship is not reaching their expectations on an emotional level. So they just feel like they're disappointed in the way this connection has gone or has been before or has been now. So we have Aquarius feeling the page of wands. Aquarius is watching you. They're creeping on you. They want to know what you're up to, what you're doing, who you're talking to, who you're with, when you're with them, all that stuff. And Pisces feels the king of cups. <laughs> Interesting. So Pisces coming through as a king of cups. Their emotions for you run very deep. But to sit in the King of Cups energy, they may try to be very emotionally mature with you and not let their emotions rule their whole inner body. But I definitely feel like Pisces is extremely feeling like you could be their soulmate, that one that they could share all these emotional lovey energies with but for some of you it may be very hard to read Pisces because they're trying to be as mature as possible possible with their emotions and try not to drown you Taurus in their emotional depth so that's what I got here for you my beautiful Tauruses thank you for being here and thank you for watching if you want to book private with me in the description box below send me an email and we'll book you in please do not forget to like this video and I'll see and talk to everyone very very soon bye now